no i am coming to the another lecture on pump and its application this is lecture number 5 in this lecture i will discuss about the uh, two special types of pump basically the vane pump and screw pump and vane pump and screw pump is the positive displacement rotary type constant delivery pump and this is the details of the classification of the pump again and again i am repeating it for every class because the classification is very much necessary to understanding the configuration of pump proper to classify the properties and where it will be applicable and what will be the nature of this pump so the fan pump and screw pump under the positive displacement rotary type constant delivery pump so before going to the fan pump and screw pump uh, we just make a short note on it this is the rotary type pump the rotary type pump basically the positive displacement pump which has periodically uh, rotating action so it will rotate because it uh, it has obviously it has a rotating element and this rotating element sometimes known as barrel the sliding vane pump comprise, comprises number of vanes in a circular array of a barrel so it the rule of the vane is to suck and deliver the working fluid from the suction side and to the delivery side now what is the screw pump the screw pump the barrel of the screw uh, of the pump is the looks like screw and it has the thread and through the thread the liquid wheels comes from the low pressure zone basically the suction side to the high pressure zone this is the delivery that will be the delivery side so this sliding pump and vane pump are under the rotary type positive displacement pump so now i am coming to the features the what will be the cross-sectional view of various types of pump the first one is the gear pump second one is the load pump the gear pump and load pump are more or less same so there is a lobe in case of load pump and in case of gear pump there is a two uh, gear which is rotating in the opposite direction and load pump also the two lobe are rotating in uh, two opposite direction so uh, the constructional features and the application of the gear pump and load pump very much similar and the third one is the vane pump in case of vane pump you see there is a number of slots and in this slots is known as the vane pump and the length of the vane is varying from the suction side to the deliver side the all blue color side are the suction side uh, so due to the variation of the vane the flow will continue in case of screw pump you will see there is a long screw and through the axial direction the flow will come from the suction side and it will go to the delivery side and uh, that is uh, through uh, through to the delivery side through the through its thread and uh, this is known as screw pump and this is the special type of pump this operation is uh, different from the all other pumps there has own property uh, properties and over sitting principle uh, so they are basically gear pump and low pump although the same type of principle is maintained but vane pump and screw pump differ from the low pump and the gear pump coming to the vane pump what is the vane pump this is the cross-sectional view and the industrial view of the vane pump so in case of vane pump what will happen vane pump is another type of rotary type positive displacement self priming pump obviously this pump or the self priming it has the capability to priming itself the operation principle are quite different from the uh, loop pump and gear pump obviously there is rotating action of loop or gear but here is there is no rotating action like the vane is the main element of the operation it consists uh, uh, a cylinder board or rotor the rotating part of the pump is known as rotor with the radial slots housing with the suction side inlet and discharge side outlet so there is a less, uh, number of slots and it has a suction side and delivery slide vanes are fitted with the slots with spring so in the center you see the uh, some zigzag line that is the spring and the slots is eccentrically fitted with the rotor rot. and the, there must be some eccentricity between the rotor and the center of the vents or, or slots 
the main action is added by the centrifugal force hydraulic pressure or pursuits the pumping operation is caused by the expansion and contraction of the volume contained by the rotor vanes and housing so the expansion and contraction of the vane from the deli from the suction side to the delivery side uh, it will maintain the continuous flow of the vane pump so basically the features of the vane pump which is uh, described in this slides so vane pump so vane pump is the special type of rotative uh, positive displacement cell priming pump this is the main keyword of the vane pump and instead of gear or lobe there is a number of vanes arranging in a circular array of a rotor with, and the, with the spring and the slots or vane are the main key element to drive the flow from suction side to deliver side obviously the always uh, in the suction side the pressure is minimum that's why the flow will come to the suction side actually the vacuum pressure is created in the suction side and it when the flow will come then vane will drive the liquid to the delivery side and the pressure of the delivery side is always more than the suction side advantage of the vane pump what are the advantage of the vane pump the low viscosity working fluid can be handled in this vane pump so uh, this is the one advantage the pump has capability of dry priming uh, actually self dry priming very easily than any other positive displacement pump so it has the self priming property or dry priming property uh, and which is more efficiently or easily uh, done by its own by its own than the any other positive displacement pump no metal to metal contact throughout its operation there is no metal to metal contact so the operation is very smooth the noise in this pump is very low disadvantage of the vane pump there is some disadvantage of the vane pump speed must be reduced dramatically for high viscosity application this is very good for low viscosity application if we increase the um, increase the viscosity of the working fluid then the speed also dramatically reduced the pump uh, not good for abrasive application so this is not good for the ab abrasive application where working fluid are contain the abrasive this is not good for that if wire occurs the clearance cannot be adjusted so if wire and clear occur in the various parts of the vane pump then uh, the clearance cannot be adjusted so in this case what will happen you have to replace the parts of the pump so this is cost effective so this is the disadvantage of the vane pump now coming to the a comparison between uh, gear pump loop pan and vane pump before going to the comparison uh, you use some nomenclature that e for excellent g for good vg for very good and p for poor so there is some standard parameter abrasive application low viscosity application high viscosity application solids uh, content of the working fluid priming property of the pump and differential pressure between the suction side and delivery side uh, actually the how much pressure is created due to the pump operation the first one is the internal gear pump second one is the external gear pump that is the low pump and fourth one is the vane pump so abrasive property is very very good for the low pump and internal gear pump and poor for external gear pump poor from main pump also in low viscosity liquid capability internal gear pump and external gear pump is very good low pump for is good and for the vane pump it is excellent and high viscous liquid which is handled the good for vane pump excellent for low pump very good for external gear pump and excellent for internal gear pump cemetery was uh, solids contain but solid handling properties uh, in case of external gear pump is very high and low pump low pump is excellent so low pump is used to handle the solids uh, uh, 
property uh, solids materials that's why it will used in the food processing industry the priming property is very good for the vein pump I mean, it has a dry self self priming property or all other pump is good enough for the priming differential pressure in case of the external gear pump is very high and very good for internal gear pump and the low pump and good for the vein pump this is all about the comparison between the uh, among the gear loop and vein pump and this chart will help you to select the pump and what will be the uh, depend depend on your application field so this chart is very important for you for the uh, engineer to select the pump which is necessary for your application so one table can help to collect your pump as far your requirement so this is very important chart what will be the screw pump the screw pump is very uh, small and uh, in it is used in very small scale uh, this is another positive displacement pump so screw pump uh, uh, there is a screw in the axis and the flow also flow through the axis uh, the uh, 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 from suction side to delivery side uh, along the axis along the axis through the vein uh, through the not vein through the uh, screw threads so screw pump has the capability to create high delivery flow at relatively low pressures and screw pump carries fluid in uh, in the axial direction of the screw along its thread from suction port to discharge port the another name of the single screw pump is progressive cavity pump so another name of the screw pump is single pro progressive pump and that must be a single screw there will be a multi multi screw pump also so this is not necessary uh, for you uh, if you want to some research on the pump then you have to study it and this is the advanced level screw pump and there will be a multi stage screw in a single casing so and the eff efficiency of the multi stage screw pump is more than the single stage screw pump and um, they all also there is a co complication in the design of the screw pump multi stage screw pump than the single stage screw pump single stage screw pump is the very very easy to understand and uh, operate the efficiency of this pump is relatively low than the other positive displacement pump uh, but it has smooth operation so the noise level is very low so the, the, although the efficiency of this pump this type of pump is very low but we use this pump for its noise level uh, for its minimum noise level because the the when the pump this type of positive displacement pump uh, uh, is running in an industry then it creates a huge noise so it will create some disturbance for the worker but in case of screw pump it is very smooth in operation and its noise level is very very low the main problem of the screw pump is that the hydraulic reaction force is transmitted in the direction of its axially opposite to the direction of the flow so if in this case what will happen a reaction force will create between the uh, suction side to the de um, delivery side to, to the suction side and it is opposite to the flow so sometimes it creates some problem on the flow direction of the um, uh, working fluid so this is uh, one of the major disadvantage of the screw pump but is noise level is so less or slow small that we can easily uh, use it in very cozy very uh, quiet or uh, um, uh, environment so this is very helpful to reduce the noise level of the industry also so this is all about the screw pump and the and the vein pump and and this is actually i discuss about the all types of positive displacement pump in this five lecture and i have already completed it and this is the general idea of the positive displacement pump so thank you very much for your attention thank you